Day 1. Salvage ship, The Wretched. Flight Engineer Carter reporting. The other members of the crew are dead and the engines remain non-operational, though the ship integrity remains good and life support systems are still active. I successfully jettisoned the intruder from the airlock, but it remains alive and continues to try to access the ship. With a little luck, I can repair the distress beacon and somebody will pick me up. This is Carter, last survivor of the Wretched, signing off. Day 2, salvage ship the Wretched, Flight Engineer Carter reporting. I have no idea what I'm doing here. I've spent most of the day just crawling around the ship, trying to take stock of what's been damaged, what needs repaired, but I don't even know what I'm looking for, much less how I would fix it. I Maybe this is just a waste of time. Day 3, salvage ship The Wretched. Flight Engineer Carter reporting. After spending yesterday hitting my head against a wall, I just... I can't figure out how to get the ship moving. I can't figure out how to get the damn comm system online. This is not my area of expertise. Right now, it feels... hopeless. Day 4, Salad Ship the Wretched, Flight Engineer Carter reporting. It's been a day. I awoke to the sound of tearing metal as that thing outside was trying to pry its way in. It didn't get in, but I was forced to detach the module and send it floating out into space in order to seal that bulkhead. In the process, some moisture got into the food stores, started rapidly accelerating growth of some kind of mold. I managed to isolate it, and hopefully the rest of the food won't be affected. <laughs> I guess that means I only have six months of food instead of eight. No big loss, right? Anyway, after dealing with all of that, I just started telling myself, not today, not you. I just kept repeating it over and over and over again. Not today, and not you. I don't know, it just... I, I felt... not hope. Just... energy, just determination. Not today, not you doesn't even make sense. But I went up to the bridge and I just threw myself at, at the beacon for hours. And I'll be damned if I think I got that thing working. Not 100%. I, it still needs some, some repairs. But if I keep trying at it, I think maybe I could get some help. <sighs> Day 5. Salvage Ship the Wretched. Flight Engineer Carter reporting. <coughs> I got woken up from a dead sleep with a fire suppression <coughs> system going. Smoke was filling the area. I think it was a electrical short. Luckily the system kicked in. Managed to contain the fire long enough for me to finish tamping it down. It's strange, I was dreaming about fire when it woke me up. It made me think about Sayer. A couple of days before it showed up. Sayers was telling us about a, a dream that he had. He said he remembers he was walking through the corridors of the ship and there was no one else there. But he kept getting the feeling that he was being followed, that uh, something was stalking him from the darkness. We didn't listen to him then. But looking back, did he know? Somehow, did he know? Day 6, Salvage Ship the Wretched, Flight Engineer Carter reporting. I made the mistake of going past the officer's mess today. That's... that's where most of the crew were that thing. I've thought about trying to clean the place up, but I don't know if I'd need a bag or a goddamn mop. Anyway, as I pass by and... I caught a glimpse of the inside. I, I swear to God, I thought I thought I thought I saw something moving. It scared the hell out of me. I ran so goddamn fast from that place. 
After I took a bit to calm down, I realized I must have been seeing things. I even worked up the courage to go back, take a look around. I didn't keep my lunch down. I convinced myself that I'd been imagining it. and I just think being out here alone is starting to get to me. Day 7, salvage ship The Wretched, Flight Engineer Carter reporting. <sighs> I got myself locked in the bridge for about six hours today. Door lock shorted out, and I spent all that time just trying to open them back up again. I didn't even manage to get any good work done on the beacon while I was in there. I'm just tired. Last few nights I've been having dreams. The kind of dreams that Sayer talked about having. Alone on the ship, walking through the dark corridors. The lights are mostly out. There's shadows everywhere. And I swear I I can feel that thing behind me. Every step of the way, but every time I turn around to look, there's nothing there.
small, but if it had kept going without being noticed, it could have been a big problem. We got it patched up, but something else happened. I went back to the bridge. I was trying to work on the distress beacon, and I swear I heard it talking through the distress beacon. It had Sayer's voice. It was whispering to me. It was telling me to let it in. I shut the speakers off. I... I can't listen to that. God, I think I'm just going crazy. Day 11, salvage ship, the wretched flight engineer Carter reporting. Going through the crew quarters, I found my old locker. It's where I hid from it. Once we knew it was aboard, I just hid. How is it still out there? No air? No food? How can it survive? What even is this thing? After I blew it out of the airlock, it made its way around to the observation deck, the only place on the ship with glass windows. It knew immediately where it could try to get back in. It didn't breach, obviously, but I was worried today that maybe it could try again. So I spent some time welding panels over all the windows in that area. I can't look outside anymore. I know it's just empty space, but sometimes it was nice just to see the stars. And I spent an hour staring at my own goddamn locker, thinking about all the time I spent hiding in there from... I know the good news. Looking through more of Hamilton's things, I found a copy of the ship maintenance manual. It's meant to be used for a lot of the bridge systems, which means, maybe, it could help me fix that distress beacon, which I've had not exactly the best progress with. I'm gonna sign off for today, spend some time going over it. Day 12, salvage ship, the wretched flight engineer, Carter reporting. I think I am going crazy. I heard some sort of sound in the air vents. At least I, th I thought I did, and for a second I thought that maybe... I thought maybe that thing had found a way in. And it was crawling around in there. Even when I thought I'd calmed myself down, I threw myself into trying to reassemble the engine. Looks about the same as when I started, but I can't help but feeling that I've done more harm than good. I guess if I blow up in the middle of the night, I'll know for sure. Until then, signing off. Day 13, salvage ship the wretched flight engineer Carter reporting. Be careful what you wish for. I tried to cold start the engines, and the one that I disassembled yesterday caught fire. It was bad. Bad enough that I had to jettison the whole damn thing. It means even if I do get the engines working again, I'm working half power. It could be a long time before I'm able to reach a trade lane or anything like that. While I was down there in the maintenance section, I also found blood. At least I, I think it's blood belonging to that thing. It was boiling. dried the way I would assume. One thought just kept echoing through my head for the rest of the day. It's a thought that's still rattling around in there, and no matter how hard I try, I just can't shake it loose. What if it's fresh? Day 14, salvage ship the wretched, flight engineer Carter reporting. I had to disable the exterior proximity alarms on the ship. Somewhere in all of the 
fixes I've been trying to make, they've been reactivated, and they keep sounding. Because that thing keeps setting them off. It's some kind of comfort to know that it's still outside and not in here, and even to know generally what area of the ship exterior it's on, but I also need to be able to focus. I need to be able to sleep if I'm ever going to get out of here. Day 15. This is Carter. This will be my last recording and my last transmission. When I failed to jettison the bodies of Sayer, Hamilton, and everyone else, I left them in the airlock. The airlock that I jettisoned that thing out of. I don't know if somehow it smelled the bodies in the vacuum of space, or if it just remembered where I forced it out. It came back, and something about the way I brought those bodies out there, it pried its way in. I can hear it moving around. The lights pulse the way I described, like a heartbeat, getting stronger, getting closer. I'm holed up in that locker again, but I think it knows exactly where I am. I think it's enjoying this. I see here on the data pad, the sensors are picking something up every so often. Something big, at a distance, outside the ship. Sometimes it's there, and other times it disappears. Could be anything. A glitch. A planet. Maybe another ship. If there is someone out there, if you can hear this, please, please stay away.